Hi guys, so welcome to the weekly email. Um, Phil's going to talk through everything about the programming for this week. First of all, hope you're having a very happy bank holiday and a restful time. It's um, The summer is drawing to a close and actually what we see generally around this time of year is an opportunity to re-establish habits and re-establish routines in terms of looking after yourself and your health and fitness. So it's a great opportunity to do that, so make the most of it. Also, just really wanted to say quickly, we are looking forward to Battle Cancer. We've got Greg Hobden, Tom Williams Way, Colin, Ed, um, and potentially Ollie, and Richard Slifer is coming back to do Battle Cancer with us. Out of um, the Strength Advance membership, um, we're really looking forward to Battle Cancer. Below, we are going to share the link where you, which you can send to friends, family, whoever, post it on your socials or whatever, to help us raise money as a gym for the Royal Marsden's Urology Fund, uh, which we're working closely with DEC to uh, raise money for. So, um, happy bank holiday, over to Phil to talk about programming. In terms of the bowel cancer, if you're not competing in it, make sure you come and support us or support the, the gym. Uh, we're having a meal afterwards as well at the pub, so get involved with that one. The more the merrier, big Hex family. In terms of programming, we are going into our last phase. So there's three phases. We're in our last phase, which is a four week phase, building up to that heavy, heavy last week or test week before we reset. In terms of the change in uh, reps and exercises and things like that, it's mostly just reps are gonna go lower. The um, percentage or RP will go up. The main compound movements, they're gonna be the same. So it's gonna get a little bit more, more heavy, more volume. And the accessory exercise is gonna have a little change up. Well done for your testing for your skier this week. I think currently Nick is winning on the one three nice. one. If you did it, great, great effort. Um, Obviously that's your time, your foundation time you have to improve on. But that was um, the test for this week. Um, next time, obviously the test is going to be more weight based. In terms of logging your scores, it's imperative you put it into, into your whiteboard because then you know what you'll be testing and it works out on percentages for you. If you don't know what you're doing in terms of, you know, we haven't been recording that, there's a, there's a little poster on the desk in the main gym and it shows your percentages. So rather than just guessing, you want to be really accurate in what you're doing. That's the only way you're going to increase those weights in, um, in the test week and then to reset because obviously what we're trying to do here is just progress and get stronger and stronger. Lastly, it's the sports day on Friday the 30th, so this Friday. Exciting stuff, it's going to be a, a big event. Hopefully you're going to get maybe like 50 plus of you. If you're not, again, competing or like taking part, just come and socialise. You can bring your friends, bring, bring family. It's going to be a nice fun day out to celebrate Hex and the community. There's going to be things like beanbag tosses, egg and spoon race, 50 meter sprints, like uh, sack races, a bit of rounds as well. It's going to kick off at 5 p.m. But if you can't make it that early, don't worry because it's going to, it's going to be like segmented. So if you come at half five, you might miss the egg and spoon race, but then it'll be being back to us. So just kind of do what you can. And if you bring like kids and family, then they can they get joined in as well. Social afterwards, so bring your own drink and, and food. We are going to be next to the windmill, so that's an option. But I'd say in terms of savings of money, if there's a nice day, we'll sit there kind of all evening. Apart from that. That's all I've got to say. Brilliant. Cheers, have a nice bank holiday, everyone.